what is going on YouTube? This is Cool Story Bro Bat bringing you episode number 7 of this Pokemon Platinum No Pokemon Center Nuzlocke Let's Play thing. And yeah, I, I, I did step out of a Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah, I did actually. Yes, I did. You know what? I don't care because I'm soiling it. Okay, no, actually, no. I take that all back. I'm not soiling the concept of a No Pokemon Center Nuzlocke. However, I did decide to take the liberty of just making it so I can use the Pokemon Center one time for every gym battle. Like, no matter what my Pokemon are at, after the gym battle, I heal up. Thus meaning, it's implied I have to win the gym battle first, no matter what. So, yeah, it kind of trades off fairly, don't you think? Anyway, before I move on, now that I had my first gym badge and whatnot, seeing it all, uh, not this bird, seeing that my gym badge is all sparkling and such, glistening, you know, right there, you know, polish it off real quick, make it look nice and spiffy for the viewers, uh, yeah, and I got a bit of change on me, so I'm definitely gonna try to go into the store after this, after these few bat guys I battle, I like to completely scour around an area before I move on, if you guys didn't realize that by now, as if, as if, oh, what's up, Geo, dude, get out my face, get out my face, you ain't ready, look, I got 50 moves, the grass moves. Tortilla is going to be putting in work for the team. I can, I can see it. Tortilla is going to be carrying a team on his back like like a turtle, which is exactly what he is, a turtle. So I'm going to put Bro Buddy up front so I can get some ESP because I'm going to be getting to a lot of those. Even though they're against Wild Geo dudes and do that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. I might actually skip this part, I don't feel it's going to be super eventful, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Ah yes, so here we are inside Orberg City's museum. The funny part is there's like only two trainers in that mine, and a bunch of Geodudes who I was knocking out, and I feel it was kind of annoying traveling through there, but bro buddy got to level 9, Tortilla carrying a team on his back like usual, I used up a couple absorbs, but I have a lot of moves so I'm not even worried about it. And, uh, yeah, I'm in a museum staring at a huge hump of co lump of coal right here. Uh, let's see. Mining must take a strong mind. Mining must take a strong mind, not just a tough body. Think about it. You're in darkness, digging desperately through rock. You know, with creepers and zombies and skeletons walking after you, man. Mining is intense, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a little far from here, but there's a city called Eterna City. I heard a curious person named the Underground Man lives there. But a name like that, he must be an authority on the underground. Or maybe he doesn't live in a house, maybe he actually lives in the earth. Maybe he's one with the earth. And the- okay, no. Anyway, yeah, that whole underground thing I was talking about in the last episode, it's, it's better for multiplayer, but you can't find fossils and junk down there, so... It has some usage and employment in single player, where if you don't have any friends, you can still do something. Yeah. Whoa, so this is cool? I never expected something this big that color it really is as black as they say wow <laughs> just wow I mean what did, what did you expect was it what you wanted white coal flint coal flint coal wow the Pokemon that carried this must be terribly strong yeah I can envision like a Machamp lifting that thing like nothing well, let me talk to that receptionist up front those receptionists up front talking like that man some crazy some crazy Asian dude or something that's, that's what I think you're talking no no offense to no offense to Nick the Asian <laughs> no offense to Nick the Asian I, I, I just envision him saying like oh let me let me wait he extends under the seafloor seriously Orberg mine extends under the seafloor you mean like it goes below sea level or do you mean it actually goes beneath the ocean? Because I went down there, that mine is shallow. That mine is very narrow and ends way too quickly. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough I am, to discover extraction from fossils. From fossils I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, I went out of my riff. Oh, my riff. I went out of my way for that one. And now I'm just kind of just messing around in this museum. Once again, no offense to Nick the Asian. He, he's probably gonna get me back for that. I thought this was an exit. You know, I thought there was like another section 
that you could go to. I, I know you get a fossil somewhere, but I don't know where. Like, see, I thought that thing extended into this, but I guess not. Okay. But I know you get a fossil somewhere in this town, apparently, from what I've heard. So, uh, yeah. Well, before I get out of this city, I guess I'm gonna buy some potions and stock up, load up on some gear. Maybe you have a fossil. Nope. Alright, so. I guess I'll buy some items in this Pokemon. You get access to super potions now. Oh, just when you thought you were finally defeating the economic struggle, they pulled this one on you. Oh boy. I'm, I'm tempted too. You can only buy eight of them? I, I, I don't have that much money. My bank account just ain't set up like that. And I can't stop making a reference to something every three seconds. Alright, um, let's see. Got eight po we got ten potions in total now. Five Pokeballs. I shouldn't need too many more, so I'm not gonna buy them. And I guess I'll get some super potions. I can only afford one though. No, screw that. We won't be defeated by the struggle. We just won't be defeated. It kind of sucks. You can't buy elixirs and ethers and such in stores. You gotta actually find them. And um, yeah. Like I said, you do have to get. The I do have to get the Poke Edge app. So I'm probably going to just run back. All the way to Jubilife City. Uh, 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 Barry, what the heck? Fuck! Whoops, bro, bad. You got that gym badge, huh? A turn of city is the next place to get with a. Oh my god, I'm dyslexic. A turn of city is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up so it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. 9. Bah, who's got time to count? Oh man, that guy is so hyper. At least he's lively though. At least he's lively. He said Route 207 is blocked off and you can't you can't get without a bicycle. Or whatever. I can't talk still. Let's see. Let us see. This is in fact Route 207. Can't you catch like a Larvitar in this router side? Oh, I, I get it. Oh, yeah. Let me battle this guy first. This slope's too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bicycle? There's a bicycle shop in Eterna City. So, yeah, basically, the direction they're putting you, I have to go all the way back towards Jubilife City and make my way towards the other city, Floaroma Town. And I couldn't get there at first because I didn't have Rock Smash and because I didn't have a badge to use Rock Smash. But now, clearly, I have both of them, so we're ready to move on. We are ready and raring to go to move on. Alright. Oh, there's berries up there. Oh, there's berries. There's berries. I don't know if they're leopard berries, but they're berries. Alright. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, Ponyta. Well, I already encountered a Geodude, so I can't even... And I knocked it out instantly, without hesitating. So I guess I have to sit here and just fight this Ponyta. It would have been a cool addition to the team, too. Oh, I'm just gonna flinch you to death. Look at you. Look... Oh, girl. How do y'all... Wait, we have the same speed? Okay. We're speed time right now, bro? Is that how you feel? Bronita? Ponyta? Stop growling at me, God! Why does a horse growl? That doesn't make sense! Bro, buddy, you need to level up, for real. For real, for real. Uh... Oh, Mod Shop. Oh, uh, all these useful Pokemon on this route, and I find the most useless ones. I find the most useless one... And No, I can't say it. All these useful Pokemon on this route, and I, f and I run into the most useless one who I can't even do anything with because I knocked it out immediately afterwards. That is just golden. That is just golden. Oh, it's alright, though. It's alright, though. There's better things in store. And you, oh, my God. When did I get this low on Astonishes? Well, Astonish sucks anyway. The reason I used it up so much is because you desperately, desperately, desperately need to repeatedly spam it in order to get up a significant amount of damage on something. So, yeah. Just gonna spam Leech Seed now. Knock out this mod shop. Avoid those dynamic pimp hands of justice. Alright, he's out cold. Alright, now we just, And my ROM seems to be like chopping up. But I think we're straight now. So. 
Yeah, let's get back on the road. Back towards Jubilife City. Before we move on, I want to explore more of this ravaged path. Maybe the fossils are in here. So, yeah, I'm going to take some insurance out and use my repel up right here. Because, you know, I want to focus. I'm not trying to battle some every two steps. Yeah, smash that rock, Tortilla. Smash this one, too. We don't like rocks. Rocks suck. Speaking of, speaking of rocks, Gym Leader Roark. You know, I'm surprised in Black and White 2, when they implemented the function that allows you to make little Pokestar movies, I'm surprised they didn't, like, uh... They didn't make a movie about Gym Leader Roark actually being the Pokemon Zoroark. Because, uh... You know, the Pokemon Zoroark has Roark in its name. Zoroark. But it's just Oh, I feel like this I feel like this joke is going on dead ears. I feel like it's going on dead ears. But yeah, I found Flash. Girls going wild. Woohoo! Alright, um anyway. Repel wore off, so I'm about to be screwed again. Kinda sucks you can't go anywhere else, surf. Every first cave, well, no, not every first, well, no, actually, every first cave, there's always water in it that you can't get anywhere with until you had the Surf HM. I, I think there was something like that in Mount Moon, I'm not sure, but I know it was like that in, um, I know it was like that in Black and White with, uh, what's that cave called? You know, the one cave next to the daycare. Yeah, whatever, I don't remember what it's called at the moment. Uh, Wellspring Cave or something like that, something. Look, I don't feel like doing all this on a bicycle, man. And I'm not coming back up here with a bike just to find some extra stuff. We got a big pearl. They have no ex they have no use whatsoever except for being sold for big money. So yeah, take that, economic struggle. Show you who's boss. Anyway, let's get out this cave now because it's gonna get very annoying very quickly. Very annoying, very quickly. I sensed it. I sensed it. If you're running to one more Pokemon before I get out of this section, I'm just going to pause it and just skip. Okay. No need for skipping. Let's just escape. Let's just escape the cave. Uh, come on, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for that. You got anything else to say to me? Oh, good golly. That's the Orberg City's Gym Badge. All right, now you can use the hidden power rock smash on all uh, the hidden move rock smash on small boulders. Yeah, I know. I was having a little bit of fun with that. Anyway, let's just get out of here and get back to Juba Life City. You know, I don't know if you do get a fossil or not. Maybe you get a fossil later on or something. I don't know. But either way, I really shouldn't, but I wanted to see how much I would have done. I don't know why, but I just wanted to see how much it would do. Clearly, Bro Buddy is not cut out for this kind of thing. Not until she gets Wing Attack. Until then, she sucks. Nothing more needs to be said about it. Oh, it's Looker. Tell me, have you not obtained a Pow Pet? Is not a Pow Pet free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilife City. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Oh, what a weird guy. Anyway, thanks for telling me about the Pow Pad, bruh. The Pow Pad lets you record friend codes so you can exchange them in battle with your friends over Wi-Fi. Like, we don't do that already. <laughs> uh, I forgot where to go. Well, first, let me get this app. Let me get the app for my iPhone. No, for my Poke Rolex. Because, you know, what, what good is a watch without extra apps? And why is that clown standing in front of there, man? I'm tempted to go in, but I can't. It's just not that time yet. But anyway, yeah, uh, I went in here earlier, off screen in the last episode. But, so yeah, I did talk to everybody in here, so I get to save you guys the pain of watching me talk to every single person in the building. Oh, wait. You don't, you don't get the app from up here. You get it from the president, who's actually down here. Oh, crud. I hate when I do that. Go back down, bro. Go back down. Yeah, the president's actually right here. Sweet, you got a new app for me? The memo pad. Jotting down quick notes. That's the memo pad. Let me see this. Let me see this.
Oh yeah, the memo pad. Yeah. Hmm, what should I write? What should I write? Maybe I'll draw something. Later. Later. I'll draw something much, much later. So very much later. Oh yes, we are back and uh oh crap, wait, what happened? Alright, uh yeah, we are back and we have totally we totally did not make any new art. And I totally did not just plug in my tablet and spend like 10 minutes drawing that thing. Alright, anyway, uh, let's continue. Uh, let's see, let's see, let us see. So, we got this. I got the I got the app to draw this amazingly awesome art with and waste massive time during this let's play. I guess I should make my way toward Eterna City and- Whoa! Look at this! Team Galactic has now entered the building. Now, 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 now! Professor Rowan, you must comply! Hand over all your research findings. For free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in painful time for your assistance. Ah, Brobat! Well, how's the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's Orberg's gym badge, I see. But have I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, why must you be so difficult? We're speaking to you on business because this is work for us. What we're saying is, we demand you comply with our demands. Oh, hold up, you demand someone to comply with your demands? So is that like a double demand? Is it, are you like demanding that the demand be command? Screw it, demandception. Quiet, you lot! Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Number one, don't loiter about for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Number three, if you don't get on your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? <laughs> oh man, Professor Rowan, you are gradually becoming my favorite professor. My goodness, you call yourselves adults? You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Ugh! You had to make this personal. You forced our hands into making a show of force. Right, there you go again using the same word twice. You forced our hand into making a show of force? So you're forcing me to use the force on you? Is that what this is? We'll make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. Bro, bat, let's battle together. Oh, sweet. Double battle or multi-battle? I gotta listen to Team Galactic Steam. I'm sorry. Look at those cuts, though. Those outfits, man. They look like... Well, I, I almost said they look like astronauts, but that would kind of be the idea behind being Team Galactic. Alright, bro, buddy. It's on you. Let's go. Who do, I, who do you want? Who do you want? Who do you want? Do I hit the Glamy out or the Stunky? It's Glamy out or Stunky? Glamy out. I'm gonna hit Glamy out. Alright, Piplup, you're not on my team, so I'm not helping you. Alright, let me speed this up, even though I wanted to listen to the theme. Bubble hits both of them? Freaking OP. Oh, you screech. Uh, leech life, just leech life, just, just spam leech life to- oh god. Oh, what the heck? Oh! 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 Oh, you're not killing bro, buddy. I'm not allowing it. I'm not allowing it. Look, I'm about to heal up. Dawn, your pit blood better come through. Your pit blood better come through. I don't feel like switching. Yeah, hit him with that bubble. Inflict big damage on him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Alright, we got this. We don't need to... Alright, bro, buddy. You're healed up. Let's go. Even though you're about to be out of moves again. Because you haven't learned any decent ones that don't have to be spanned repeatedly. Poison gas. That's a bad time to use that kind of a move. Her, her pillow is almost dead. What the heck? Dawn, take care of your Pokemon. Jeez, you could fail the Nuzlocke if you don't. And it's poison now. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing the children? This won't do. It's time to retreat something else. I see what he said. Leave us no option. We'll retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. Lot they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they need to release some type of energy. 
However, I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as an energy for something. Brobat, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. And about 85% of all statistics are made up on the spot. Well, maybe that's the reason those people tried to take the professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can go relax now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came out of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Brobat, kudos to you for your battling skill. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. Ugh. Ah. Oh, my chest. That, of course, means your Pokedex pages will continuously fill up. In other words, it will be great help to my research. I said I've given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex is yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. Alright, sweet. So they're legitimate. Oh, who's this dude? Oh, that was very... Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have some for let me see that smashing battle. I got the fashion case. Heck, I do with this thing. Contained within that fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. And right now, the TV station is offering facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too, so please visit our TV station. Oh, right, right. You can, like, dress up your Pokemon and stuff and pretty much do exactly everything he just told me. I could do that, but... Nah, not today. Maybe some other time. We're like approaching the end of this video, and I need to do something interesting to end it with. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just run up in this cave, all bold like, you know. Oh, what's up, Badoof? Can't handle bro buddy. You know, cause we're not nobodies, we're bro buddies, but we're also bro buddies at the same time. So you know, yo, come on, bro buddy, let's get it together. Shylock hasn't gotten any type of play since I healed up, even since before that, so you need to get back in the game. You need to get back in the game, just uh, as soon as I'm, as soon, as soon as I get through here. I only wonder what kind of Pokemon are going to show up here. I guess I'll go on a little bit, I'll go on a little bit, maybe I'll end it after I get out of this cave, mayhaps, maybe, perhaps, possibly, which way do I go? Uh, let's go left. Because I feel if I go right, that'll just take me straight to the exit. And, uh... Oh, look at that. All these unnecessary rocks. Oh, sweet, I got Rock Tomb. That's a useful TM. You know? Helps you. Helps you. I mean, I'll save it, though, because I never know when I'll need it. And I have no need for it at this moment. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, hey, Zubat. Hey, I got Shylux. We're, we're, yeah, we need to get you need to get back in the game, Shylux. Look at that crit! Yo, you get crits on everything. You have not skipped a beat. First my Bidoof, now that Zubat. Oh man, I'm I'm so glad I drafted you. So glad I drafted you. All right, let's see. So I'm on route. Wait, what route was this? I didn't look. I didn't see that sign. We're on route 204. Okay, 204. Who's this guy? You raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you have only the same type of Pokemon, you have a hard time against types of Tweet too. No, oh, really, I did not know that. Okay, I'll end it after this battle. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? Oh, maybe I like flowers, man. You know, wake up and smell the roses. Kind of Taylor. I know a couple of Taylors. <laughs> Taylor Gang. Taylor Gang. Yeah, so Buddy was just gonna spam growth here. All right, we got this. We got this. Just use tackle at once. You're not gonna do anything except use growth over and over. Who do you think you are? Some type of Venusaur? Cherubi. Even Cherubi's not holding it down, man. You're not holding it down. Also, guys, please tell me, am I am I entertaining you during this let's play? Is this is this any good? Am I getting boring? Uh, is there anything I can improve on? You know, tell me the stuff as I go along. I like to. I like to see what people say. I like, I like feedback, you know, I like getting criticism. I mean, I don't like getting cut down by criticism, where you want to point out every single minor flaw, but, you know, I like some helpful pointers every now and then, you know? 
Yeah, I got this new app from the Pokedex company. Look at that art right there. Oh, man. I'm going to have so much fun with this. Alright, so I found an awakening. And with that, I think I'm going to save right here. As tempting as it is to go on. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, another random fact. I think I'm going to try to start getting some more battles up. Random battles of all types of crazy cool stuff. Just so I don't oversaturate with these Let's Plays. But anyway, it's sort of an irrelevant note. I just felt like saying it for now. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.